Hey, hey, this is Matthew Belmont. Welcome to another trailer reaction video. Today we're going to look at King, and I mean Ape versus Monster. Oh, yeah, it's a film made by the Asylum. What were they known for? Making cheap cash in attempts. King of the Lost World, Peter Jackson's King Kong. Transmorphers, Michael Bay's Transformers. Terminators, Terminator Salvation. 100 million BC, 10,000 BC. Sherlock Holmes, yep, the other Sherlock Holmes from Hollywood, because he's so public domain that people want to take advantage from of him. Triassic World, Jurassic World. Bermuda Tentacles, 2014 Godzilla by Gareth Edwards. Monster Island, Godzilla King of the Monsters by Mike Daugherty, Daugherty or whatever his name is. If I get it right, please let me know. If I get it wrong, also let me know. And now, for Godzilla vs. Kong, Ape vs. Monster. And I thought to myself, well, I'm getting some Konga TNT vibes here because Konga TNT, what came to mind was like Konga from 1961. And as for Ape vs. Monster, it's like a reboot of the film Ape from 1976, that Korean King Kong film. And Monster, that 1979 Jaws knockoff with that lizard, mud skipper creature of some sort with a mustache. Yeah, awful film. So, let's take a look at Ape vs. Monster. The Asylum. Five meters greater in length than when first captured. The capsule was covered in it. Do you believe it has something to do with Abraham's growth? How do we know that there weren't traces of that substance left on the desert floor? We just had a report of an unidentified life path moving really fast eastbound. You'll have big problems. Hmm. Secure the area. Abraham's escaped. Where are the targets currently headed? Washington, D.C. Like Hila. It's about to emerge. Godzilla. Check his ass. <laughs> the war we're facing now will only just be the beginning. This is war, gentlemen. Kong. Intergalactic combat. Point out the problem. Eight versus monster. You have to pay homage to the train attack sequence from the original Godzilla. I'm sure they asked Toho permission or something like that. But wasn't a train attack sequence from Godzilla an homage to a train attack sequence from the original King Kong? Think about it. And another thing. My gosh, it feels like they're not only copying, what was that film, uh, Godzilla vs. Kong, but Rampage. Yeah, they're copying Rampage. And the satellite that fell, I mean the spaceship that, with the animal inside that fell and grows into giant size and mutates. Yeah, that's copying this unmade film called The Las Vegas Monster. Oh, yeah, they're just copying an unmade film. Not to mention how his size increases. Yeah, you're copying Amazing Colossal Man. Apart from the Godzilla and Beast from 20,000 Fathoms homage, they're... Was like the Aquila monsters like passing by, lick lick lick, boom becomes a monster. Yeah, I think it's copying a beginning of an end, or them where an atomic blast just mutates the ants or the grasshoppers and start they start attacking the city. Yeah, a couple, beginning of an end as well, and them. You know what? It's funny. There was plans for a them remake. Or a them sequel called It, Son of Them. That never got made. And the original Them from 1954 won an Oscar for special effects. So, I don't see why not if I could, uh, I don't know, watch this movie. <sighs> well, if you're bored, if you, if, you're, if you have a rainy day, or you just had a third molar removed and you're recovering from, from it, just 
watch a nice cheesy monster movie to get your mind off of things. So do you agree or disagree? Do you think this is worth watching or not? Comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Matthew Beelmont saying have a nice day.